Hey guys, this is Andrew Richardson and Andrew Coyne from MMA Mania here at Capital Strength and Performance for another Fighter on Fighter Technique highlight. So tonight I'm going to be talking about the Korean Zombie Chan Sung Jung, uh, a real dangerous opportunistic finisher and a guy who really surprises people with his ability to close distance at range. And so that's actually what I'm going to be talking about tonight. Jung has a habit of kind of loading up, lowering his stance, uh, kind of something of a level change feint. Uh, but really, it's just this change in elevation that lets him explode with uh, the right hand and kind of catches his opponent off guards with how he does it. So the most standard, the most common that Jung will do is when we're here, so he's just going to squat down and immediately fire across. Now, some of the times, again, Jung covers a lot of distance, some of the times he covers an extra bit of distance by stepping in the southpaw, and then we can keep the follow-up with combinations from there. That's something we talked about the last time that Jung fought. Uh, really tricky stuff when you talk shifting combinations. Now in his fight with Dennis Bermudez notably and some other fights as well, we've seen guys try to duck under that cross. They see the change in elevation come and they lower their level and that's when Jung will switch it up to the uppercut. So again, if I'm here and I've been showing him that right hand and now if I go this way, uh, if, I, if I time that correctly, it's gonna be a big impact. And then finally, uh, Jung can just as easily loop an overhand and this is kind of if his opponent is looking to jab, to keep him off, to kind of stall that action. And again, this is how he knocked out Moicano. Uh, if Bulldog throws that jab, I duck down and time it right. Again, big impact. Jung hits real hard. Only need one of these three to connect perfectly to really change the fight.